we return back to Florida in just the nick of time before Hurricane Helene and we are going to try to install our new EG4 battery. It did take a little while to put this video together because we had Hurricane Helene, then Hurricane Milton decided to grace us with his presence. So uh, between all the work of hurricane cleanup and working on the video, we finally got around to putting something together. So this is a quick tour of our solar setup. Those are our bus bars. Uh, we have our power inverters and then there are four charge controllers on the wall the solar panel breakers and the high voltage panel box on the wall in the corner. Uh, then we have two of these charge controllers are running 1260 watt panel sets and the other two are running 1000 watt panel sets. Uh, so then down here we have our Sun Gold power inverters. One of them is running the cabin on the bottom and the top one is running the RV. We are also going to install our smart shunt for the battery so that way we can have an idea of how much battery power uh, we have left. So this is the smart shunt from Victron and it connects to the battery as well as the bus bar. Uh, so we will be able to monitor uh, how much power is being used as well as how much power uh, is being diverted to the batteries for charging uh, and how much solar power is coming in, how much solar power is going out. Uh, we do have these big connections here, so we will probably have to make some new cables, uh, which we have uh, extra wire left over, so we'll be able to do that as well. Make a wire. Super fun. And then the fun part, the big crimpers. I'm going to have to put the phone down because I need muscle for this. So as you can see, I am a perfect crimper. <laughs> I did not eat my Wheaties today. Did have uh, scrambled eggs with uh, onion and ham and cheese. But uh, this thing weighs like 15 pounds on its own without crimping it. Now we gotta get a heat, sh heat gun out and uh, blast this thing. Or your blowtorch. I'll tell you one thing. This is a handy little tool to have in your arsenal. Not just for creme brulee. We've used it for our countertops and in a pinch it will blowtorch the uh, heat shrink. Hopefully there's enough butane in it. We were having some issues. use a larger one I believe that's an M10 for the uh, shunt and then for the cabinet we have to use a smaller one which is an M8 for the screw it's a 3 8 3 8 yeah but it's for an M10 screw 
the other end of the wire. So we can see how it was going to connect. They're holding off on screwing it into the wall until we have a different. So now we got to do the same thing to the other side. Now on the other side, we have to use a small lug so it connects to the bus bar. So that is um, two watt five sixteenths. Five sixteenths. The other is two watt three eighths. I don't know if you can see. There's a glare. <laughs> We're just on repeat. This is also a handy little tool to have if you're uh, doing solar. I believe, is it Will Prouse? He's the best when it comes to learning how to do solar systems. So I highly recommend watching his video. Yeah, any of his videos, really, if you're planning on putting a solar system together. Just making sure everything's going to line up before we heat shrink this one. We already have a wire coming out the bottom. So if you can see with all our ant bait. <laughs> so that wire will connect to the shunt. And then we'll move on to filling that last battery. So when they said we were getting a new battery, they were not kidding. This is completely different than what we have. They're supposed to all work together, so we'll find out. Because um, that's a long drive <laughs> to have issues. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, completely different looking in every way. Not sure what they got going on here with two of them. Two of these. So we'll have to uh, look through this little manual here and see what the heck's going on. So we have the shunt partially installed, but since we have to move the cabinet to put the battery in, we're waiting to connect um, the last terminal there. And so in order to put the battery in, we have to remove all the little itty bitty screws that are on the side of the cabinet. Then we can move the cabinet over because our bookcase thing is in the way that we have our power inverters on. It's kind of a tiny shed. You know, we built this thing, I don't know how many years ago, five years ago. We built it in the neighbor's, in the neighbor's driveway on our trailer. So it this entire shed fits on a six by 12 trailer to give you some perspective of the, uh, the size of this thing. <laughs> and we thought in our heads we were gonna put our bike in it. Yeah, that didn't work out. So, I mean it did, technically it fit, but the bike ended up um, blowing a piston. So uh, we ended up selling that bike. <laughs> After he rebuilt the engine and everything, that was a whole ordeal. So we're like, nope, Polaris is suck. Everyone we know that has a Polaris has nothing but problems with it. So we sold that bike off. And then we couldn't get a bike because of the pandemic. So we started looking into CF Moto because that's what we have now. And uh, they use some of the parts from Can Am. Uh, which is what we had before the Polaris. KTM. A KTM? Motor? No, the, some of the plastics no, come from Canada. Nothing's from Canada. No? No. Uh -oh. You're killing me. Then yeah, screw it all up. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Fine. KTM uh, engine, right? I don't know. We like our bike that we have now. I don't have any complaints about it. it. Came fully loaded for like 12 grand. Now, I don't think you can get them for that anymore. I think they're more, but 
I mean, for the price and the performance, they're pretty dang good. So we're happy with it. Fun. Now we get to grab a hundred pound battery and slap it in there. That should be fun. This thing is a beast. Does it have the weight on it? No. They're a hundred pounds. <laughs> Oh yeah, 99.2. Fake news. <laughs> They're pretty dang heavy, that's for sure. Muscles over here is gonna pick it up and put it in the cabinet like it's nothing. After he's already thrown his back out earlier on our month long vacation. like a champ. I'll tell you one thing, that would have sucked if it didn't go in. <laughs> yes, it would have. They have a, a little rail system. I probably should have showed that part before we put the battery in. But there is a little rail system for it. Now we have to put our positive. We ran out of red wire, okay? So we use red connections uh, into the top and connect it to the best bar over here. Uh, we will do that. I think these probably have to go on there first. Let's toss those in there. Connecting the negative to the bus bar. We've already connected the positive to the bus bar. And then we'll have to connect the big bus bar to the battery bus bar. <laughs> A lot of bus bars. It's for everyone's safety though. Just don't touch them because they're high voltage. You won't live to talk about it <laughs> when they're when they're on. Not right now. The entire system is turned off right now. There's no power coming in, and uh, all the batteries are powered off. You can see we have different charge controllers for different sets of panels. Uh, these ones here are running, I'm going to say 1,200 watts each, and these ones here are running 1,000 watts each. So, we're a little over 4,000 watts. Panels, six overly expensive batteries, but they are the powerhouse of everything. That's what makes it so we can run the freeze dryer, run washing machine, the dishwasher, the TV, the air conditioner, the most important thing to have in Florida because it's hot. I never thought I'd miss Florida and uh, I did because I missed the humidity but it, it's hot. <laughs> but you know it's just this hot out west. It, it is a little bit hotter maybe five degrees with the humidity um, but I don't feel like a shriveled up raisin here. My skin is starting to plump back up and my skin is not itchy. I was incredibly dry and itchy for like the last two weeks that we were out west. I was dying to get home because everything is just so dry. You wake up and feel like Skeletor in the morning. <laughs> All right, we got our battery installed, our shunt installed. Moment of truth.
start with the batteries. Open them on. Start to see them thinking. And the big moon gym. And then that one has an on switch too. <laughs> kind of weird. And our inverters. It's not really coming out. It's a little cloudy out too, so we're also going to turn the generator on um, because this one here, actually both of them, are um, chargers. So the generator is connected via the cord here not the prettiest um, but it will charge the battery bank as well as the solar uh, will also charge the battery bank but there's not much sun so we're just trying to make them kind of all tapped out so they start out with a full battery like all of them start out with full battery and then we can test the, the shunt out and see if it gives us a reading uh, from Victron. Alright, everything is working. The new battery is a little different. This means that it's charging instead of point fire flashing. Whereas all these other ones, you'll see the point fire flashing and then just stays calm. So it's a little different. percent charge with about 1700 watts coming in and eventually it will show us how much battery we have left. 